Today's topic is impetigo. Impetigo is a highly contagious bacterial infection that affects the skin. It mostly affects children and infants between ages 2 to 5, but people of any age can get it once they get in contact with someone who is affected. The skin area most often affected are the face, arms, and legs. Impetigo is rarely serious and usually resolves on its own within three weeks. However, complications such as cellulitis, kidney problems, and scarring can occur. Infection can start in two ways. It is called primary impetigo if the bacteria infect healthy skin without a site of entry, and secondary impetigo if bacteria infects broken skin, for example, another skin condition such as eczema or scabies has disrupted the skin barrier. There are three types of impetigo, non-bullous and bullous impetigo, and ecthyma. The non-bullous impetigo accounts for about 70% of those conditions. It begins as a small red blister around the nose or mouth. After a few days, the blister bursts, oozing pus or fluid and forms a yellowish-brown crust. It can spread to other areas of the body through clothing, fingers, and towels. Non-bullous impetigo is not painful but can be itchy. A less common form is the bullous impetigo. This type is accompanied by larger blisters that appear in various skin areas, especially the trunk and buttock in young children, and in the diaper areas and neck folds in newborns. After the blisters break, they form yellow scabs. Ecthema is a more serious form of impetigo that penetrates deeper into the skin than other forms of impetigo. It sometimes can be accompanied by swollen glands. The blisters accompanied by this form of impetigo are painful and can develop into larger and bigger sores. It appears on the buttocks, legs, ankles, feet, and thigh, and sometimes untreated bullous or non-bullous impetigo can develop into ecthema. Causes the three types of impetigo are distinguished by the bacteria that cause them. Non-bullous and bullous impetigo are primarily caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Ecthema is caused by Streptococcus pyogenes, Staphylococcus aureus, or both. A person gets exposed to the bacteria that causes impetigo when in contact with the sores of an infected person or with items such as clothing, bed linen, towels, and even toys that an infected person has touched. Factors that increase the risk of impetigo include in adult and children, poor hygiene, age, crowded conditions, especially schools, broken skin, certain sports that involve skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as football, wrestling, hot, humid weather, disease-causing bacteria thrive in this weather, diabetes, a compromised immune system, such as from HIV. Symptoms. Red sores near the mouth or face. Blisters that occur on the trunk, diaper area, or neck folds in infants and children. Painful, pus-filled sore. Diagnosis. Diagnosing an impetigo infection is straightforward and is based on the appearance of the sores. In rare cases, your doctor may take a sample of the pus produced by the sore for analysis to decide the type of antibiotics, whether topical antibacterial creams will suffice or if oral antibiotics will be needed. Treatment Impetigo can be treated with an antibiotic ointment or cream that may be applied directly on the sore. You may need to first gently cleanse the sore with warm water to help remove the crust from an infected person so that the antibiotics can penetrate the skin. Oral antibiotics drugs can be recommended if you have more than a few impetigo sores. To prevent the condition from recurring, be sure to finish the entire course of medication, even if the sores are healed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.